guys, what's going on? Raidu here. I got another video. And today we just basically are just going through a Microsoft update. Um, currently, Ryan's actually over at my house. He's been over at my house since the storm passed. But there's one little kicker. Ryan, you want to like tell them what happened? My windows were rolled, rolled down while the storm was going through. And who left the keys in the car? This dumbass. <laughs> so guys, we're just going to go check out the car right now. Um, this video is probably not serious at all. But currently, I don't know, you got your shoes on? Okay. We need to go get our shoes on. <sighs> Ryan, 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 you are going to be killed. Um, do me a favor. Yeah, what's up? Guys, just kind of do oh, your skid over more. here. Guys, just kind of do your skid over here and watch the watch my truck. I brake check the f of someone, and if they're gonna come do something, I want to do something for them. You know how the people are cowards around here. Just kind of watch it. Why are you brake checking somebody? It's a ride in my. Oh, so you want us to go check it? Yeah, just, just kind of sitting here, and make sure no one goes up and does anything. And if they do, I'll run out there. Alright. Smacking my ear. You're smacking my Yeah. <laughs> so right now we're actually gonna go out and keys were check. Here. Wait, keys were with you? <laughs> keys were in the kitchen. Oh thank goodness. Well, confirmation, Ryan had his keys. No, they weren't. Turning on night vision. Oh wow, I look purple. Nope, there we go. Got it fixed. Now to get my shoes on. Hold on. Ryan just decides to open the door and wants the cat to waltz out, so. Sorry, Millie, you're not going anywhere. I have literally, I think I have over uh, four hours and 30 minutes of video, and I have yet to delete the whole thing. It's It's raining right now, so. Carrying one camera in my hand and trying not to slip and fall in the other. Even though these are slick. Your windows were rolled up? Yeah, look. So James was pretty much lying. How did he roll them up? I don't know. Uh, I guess he did roll, roll, roll them up after the. They fell asleep. Oh, dude. Yeah, you could tell because there's water right here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, my seat's fine. Don't know about yours. I'm <laughs> I'd start it. See if it works. You can feel it? There we go. Huh? Your babies? He calls his money babies. Alright, well... I guess everything's okay now. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Out of the car, you're being under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke, for like the past... For the past seven, eight minutes, we've been watching cops arresting cops. Literally. Yeah, just like eight minutes ago. I want to go to mom and dad's house first and then see where, uh, like, I have to message somebody in a bit. So, guys, we're moving to the next day. So, yeah. Ryan, we've learned a lesson. Don't roll down your windows. I mean, do roll down. I don't, I don't play Cover up the camera. 
What's going on you guys? Raidu here, back at again with another video and currently it is 5.07 in the morning. It's a brand new start to the day, like six hours before I go to work. Um, figured I'd just do kind of like a vlog. Right now I'm kind of like editing. I uh, just got done with the video and uh, just a few seconds ago recently a storm just passed so luckily everything's good. Yeah, nothing really much going on. Uh, Ryan just got his vlog up today and you do those dishes they ain't doing them by themselves Jake has gotten me a uh, some equipment for the office because I am in need of actually upgrading the studio so that way when time passes by I can actually uh, edit and do other things you know while I'm editing, you know, and it basically renders the video, I can like watch videos and try to pass the time by that. Uh, thank you, Jake, for giving me that uh, tower. And Tyler's kind of using the, uh, I, I can't think of what it is. I think, I'm thinking it's a screen. Yeah, let's just call it a screen. It's like huge. It's like bigger than my element that I use. But guys, currently I am trying to wake up in the morning, probably going to head to the gym. I cannot bring this camera with me because I want to, but at the same time I can't. Just for the simple fact that it might rain more and damage the camera. So yeah, that's just basically me waking up in the morning trying to get things done and have a brand new start to this day. I know I sound generally boring in the morning, I will fix that, <laughs> but you know, also I gotta hit up a friend of mine, say happy birthday, considering that's later on today and I won't have time to do it uh, till later on today when I'm at work, but you know, I'll hit him up a conversation. His mother just came in to the store recently and she was like, Hey, you know, my son's birthday is tomorrow, and you I know you haven't guys talked in a while, and I'm like, it's been like years, and I know we've pretty much left on a bad foot, but, you know, maybe I'll get, in, get a hold of contact with Tyler again, see how things are going with him. I know he's in Carbondale, so I don't know how I'm going to go see him, you know. She's like... He's over at CJ's. I'm like, in Cessor? She's like, yeah. I'm like, that's all the way in Cessor. I'm not walking all the way to Cessor, but I can give him a call and say happy birthday. This morning's going to turn out great. I have more editing to do. Uh, I have her bothering me all, this, all, all the times, and I'm trying to do some work. So let's get this day started. So it is a few hours later and I just finally got done with uh, editing and putting uh, to the side of three videos that I'm actually going to be putting up to YouTube, which this is probably going to be the fifth video <coughs> that I'm pretty much going to be doing. Currently right now I'm actually dressed to go to the gym. As you know, I have the cannons actually not blocking the way. I have at least three hours, pretty much 15, 20 minutes to get there, two hours to do things, and then 15 minutes, 20, to get back here, get a shower and get dressed, get something to eat, and then start my work day for about a good five hours. Okay, so as you know, we actually changed the uh, giveaway to something more, you know, unique. Uh, I haven't addressed this with Ryan. He still thinks we're giving away the hat and the t-shirt, but I think we'll be pushing that to another giveaway sometime other than what's coming up now. Uh, this giveaway is actually going to be pretty much going towards uh, if anybody is going to be applying the code to the video that we are going to be uploading soon uh, after we give away these 500 cards. We will be giving away $50 towards any selected store that you want. And there will be further details of the video coming out soon. Uh, I don't know when that's going to happen. Certainly, I'm just trying to wait for Vistaprint to uh, kind of come back on my end and deliver the cards. And, you know, hopefully Ryan has his t-shirt by then. Uh, if not, you know. And that's another thing I want to explain. We went to the mall and... 
we were going to try to vlog there, but there would be some like bits and pieces to where we couldn't actually vlog. Uh, we did, in fact, but I had like a messed up camera angle, and so it's kind of messed up. Just to, to point out the fact that uh, I was pointing down uh, to the ground like, you know, I had it up here and everything else. And for some reason, my camera glitched to where uh, I know Ryan didn't have it on because once you, like, close the lid and completely shut it, it turns off. Well, apparently, for, like, the next 20, 30 minutes, it kept recording and it didn't, it was, like, inside his pocket. And you could e actually hear the guy from the embroidery station or the embroidery line uh, talking to us. And we we're explaining about the YouTube and the shirts and whatnot. And yeah, here's a short video of me and Ryan's uh, day that we went to the mall. Uh, roll the clip. Okay, so we just made it here. And me and Ryan are going to go find the, uh, what was it called, the embroidery station? Yeah. So that way we can go get it, see if we can get our t-shirts. What? No. But, you know, I don't know if we can actually record in here. Ah, my hand keeps screwing up. I think it only works if I can only work on that. You want to bring your shirt, or is it cheaper to bring a shirt? It's up to you. What size do you need? Um, well... You have to wear one more size than usual, but what size do you wear? You wear 6X, I wear a... I don't have that, that big. You don't have it that big? The biggest I have is like 3. So if you go to a... Uh, if you need to get cold or something, grab the shirt you like. Come back and see what we can do for you. They won't have it? I don't think any, we tried Walmart. They don't have it. They don't have a size big as 6X. 6X? Try the JC Penny. Come back. If you don't, then I'll send you somewhere else. Okay. There's a place in town. Car you know Carbondale? Uh, oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. You know uh, Long Branch Coffee House? You know ABC Liquors? Well, we're just from Christopher, so I'll, I'll, I'll describe it to you. Okay. And uh, if not, there's an urban shop, you know, in Carbondale neighborhood. How much would it be cheaper just to uh, bring your T-shirt just to put words on it? I mean, what do you want? I want to. I'll tell you exactly how much it costs you. It's uh, we just want the front. Ask us about our channel. Ask us about our channel. Yeah. And it's in all white letters. That's it. Yeah. You don't want to put down a little clue in there or something? Right do or anything like that? Oh no, we got this. Yeah. Uh, which, thank you by the way. It's yeah, really you are. Working great. It's nice, yeah. Um, I mean, I can do it for you. Depends on how big you go, the price will change. You know, $30, $40, depends how big we go. If it can be just $30 for each t-shirt, that's great. How many are you thinking about? Just two. Just two. Okay, I'll just go find the shirt you like. Okay. All right. And so, yeah, that was basically, it was just, it kept recording. So, I don't know how my camera would actually honestly do that, but at the same time, well, hi, Millie. It just didn't capture any footage, and I know it's dark. I had the lights turned off, but... It's like literally hitting morning, so I had to turn the lights off. Uh, so that way James doesn't wake up and like, Why are all the lights on again? Uh, I kind of forgot to turn it off, but luckily, you know, I am kind of kind to saving money on electricity, so. <clears throat> There's Millie. Millie, say hi. Yeah. So, yeah. Um... I was, I basically Snapchat a friend of mine, uh, and she wanted to talk about how my brother was such a nerd, and I'm like, and honestly, I can't know what to talk about my brother about being a nerd, because there's no reason to explain. I mean, he reads 
algebra books and he uh, codes on the computer. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, but other than that, you know, I am heading to the gym. Hopefully by the time I get back, it'll I'll be off work and continuing to vlog and maybe I'll contact Ryan and see what he's up to because he did upload a video yesterday uh, while he was on his front porch. It's like, stormed so bad. So, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to where I was gonna go. Uh, see you guys in the next clip. So it was completely the next day. Uh, I was supposed to, I don't know, continue. I'm gonna not shake the camera so much. I was supposed to be off work and go ahead and do this whole vlogging thing and yeah, I come home, mom needed me at the house, and then when I came, uh, when I was done over, going over my mom and dad's, you know, I came home, I was like, man, my legs are starting to hurt. So I go out and pass out in the bed, I know the bed's kind of messed up right now, I haven't really cleaned, kinda, but I just passed out, and now it's the next day, and... Currently, right now, when I was looking through the uh, videos that I was supposed to upload to YouTube uh, last night before I went to the gym, I was like, man, that's there, there's so much rendering, you know, going that fast. And I don't know why my hand keeps shaking. I should just use the tripod. Um, but the rendering was going so fast that apparently there's audio and music that is missing from the video that I was supposed to upload to YouTube. And now I am actually having to recorrect that while it's rendering back the process so yeah it is the next day Ryan is asleep well he wanted me to go to Walmart with him but hold on guys I'm gonna use the tripod because apparently my hand keeps shaking uh, and it kind of annoys me when it does that wherever the tripod is oh it's right here <coughs> be right back guys and now I'm back, and so, you know, yeah, also I've been having pretty much of a bad, you know, kind of precursor to not drinking Bang Energy drinks anymore, considering they weren't helping me as much, because I felt more bloated and, you know, I just, I couldn't drink any, any more of those because I feel like they were hindering my uh, ability to, you know, just drop the weights and not it super creatine is supposed to help you gain muscle uh i'm sort of trying to do that at the same time but lose weight and that was not helping i mean i never had crashes that's like the best part and no i do not i'm not a supporter of bang of any kind i just drink their products they taste pretty good i personally like the cotton candy one but i went back to monster and i'm like having crashes so you know that's not supposed to help me at all um and I'm supposed to be fixing my sleeping schedule and I haven't and that's kind of where I'm leading up to and you know right now I'm actually going to be cleaning my bedroom in a moment because the way I've been kind of uh, letting go of it for the past couple of days has like it looks like a tornado so probably in a little bit I'm gonna grab a trash bag and start doing that while you know I get the videos uploaded to YouTube uh, also, currently, I'm going to next work on Grandpa Earl, which is hopefully going to be the next few days with a vlog like this. It'll be uploaded to YouTube. I don't know. Currently, not much is going on at the moment. <clears throat> I literally don't have much going on. Oh, no. It's got to it's gotta be right there. Good. Uh, I just got dishes done. Trash is out. Uh, and everybody's going to sleep by the time I wake up, so it's pretty much normal, kind of. And hopefully when I'm working on these videos, I'll get started on working on the, uh, finishing up Jill on the Resident Evil series, so that way I'll be able to do a review after that, and yeah, a lot of videos are coming, uh, on our page sometime soon, so be ready for that and I, I honestly can't edit this footage I'm like ah, I need to but I can't maybe I can but you know I can't restart what I've just did 
but currently I'm at like 57% of rendering speed right now, so that's pretty good. It's almost halfway done, and then I should be working on the next set of videos. <sighs> yeah. So, it, next day, continuous vlog. Nothing really interesting's happening, so, I mean... I'm working on dueling book right now as of 789 and that'll be hopefully the halfway series to where it'll be like okay cool I'm halfway done with the series I can actually move on to something new um, personally I don't know if there's gonna be any plans of it continuing after this but you know uh, current like the other day I got a hold of a couple of friends and you know they wanted to be on a YouTube video, and I was like, man, you know, the Dueling Network, we can probably, uh, I need to focus all the way over here. The Dueling Network, we probably focus on, like, uh, me dueling against a couple of other people, and maybe being on Skype call with them, stuff like that. Personally, as I said, there's not much going on uh, at the moment. Uh... I also want to bring back a story that just happened a couple of days ago. Uh, well, my headphones went missing, and uh, a lot of crazy stuff has happened to where I shouldn't have messed with the ghost box. I decided to turn it back on, and it was like during a full moon. And when I was trying to ask uh, Nick, who usually I come across with, to where they... I can end up finding my headphones I'm hearing four or five maybe 12 different voices coming across and I'm like please you need to all stop talking I'm trying to get a hold of Nick and things became worse as they progressed uh, so I decided to play a little game called uh, what was it you know, if you're colder, then you're colder. If you're warmer, then if you're hotter. You know, it's like the certain kind of like finding thing. And they kept telling me to check under my bed. And I'm like, there's, the headphones aren't under my bed. I've already checked that. And so I'm thinking maybe I need to check under the, the, the sheets. I already did. I checked under the mattress. I don't know why it would be under the mattress. And I remember taking my headphones home for me from work. And me and Ryan were just discussing that, you know... These were the things that I was wearing, and he said that apparently uh, he was just, you know, he wore it around my, his neck and, you know, was just acting around, stuff like that, and he just put it back on my bed. I'm like, well, I did have two pairs of headphones. Maybe I did, wasn't being very specific, but uh, a voice came across again on the ghost box saying, run Andrew, and I'm like, oh, great. This is the third time that I come across this sort of thing. And so, you know, and then Ryan suddenly just completely and utterly crashes. Like, he doesn't, he's not responsive. Like, it just, I don't know, I had him holding the box. And I think what was what's going to happen now is that I'm not going to be able to do any more of those videos. Uh, except purely if I'm going to be doing it by myself. I'm not going to include Ryan anymore, even though there's one more coming up in October. I am not involving Ryan in this situation anymore. Um, because, one, honestly, I think uh, they, usually spirits drain the person that's holding the device and... I think what happened was uh, Ryan got too anxious and nervous that they suddenly started uh, attacking them. And what happened next was uh, I kind of did what normally I could do was force him out of them or force them out of him. And it worked. Uh, all I had to call upon was God and his angels and he was being back to normal. Uh, and then ever since, I just, I couldn't feel Nick until yesterday. So, I know it's kind of creepy to discuss on vlog, and I really shouldn't be talking about that, but me and Ryan both agreed that we are dropping the ghost box. At least I'm leaving him out of the session to doing so, because we are not doing that anymore. Uh, 
as I said, it is dangerous. It could harm somebody. It could, uh, it could ruin someone. But uh, I told Ryan, I'm like, in a few days, you know, you could be back to normal. You know, it's just the process of trying to rehabilitate yourself after what happened. And for me, uh, it's already happened. But you know, as I said, these things. Yeah, they give me the crash sometimes, and I just, I don't know, I like the taste. And that's probably not working for me. And uh, also another thing I was discussing uh, with a uh, computer teacher at the time that was at my high school. I don't know if he still works at the high school. But I was talking to his friend, and uh, maybe a video coming out sooner or later after I do all these videos is I go to McDonald's, I buy a burger, and I do this, like, this test where... If I buy lean beef versus McDonald's beef and see which one kind of decomposes or rots away in a chamber, like a glass thing, to where, you know, I'll be able to take uh, week by week uh, footage and show you guys if, it, if the thing was true. Because a few years ago, they would have uh, the, some, like the, the burgers comparison side by side and see which one would rot more quicker you know than the other one and <clears throat> I've seen that the McDonald's burger actually does not rot it does not smell it doesn't do anything but the home cooked one apparently is just withering away and it smells really bad but maybe I'll just do a science experiment over that uh, and if you guys want to see that just go down below like the video we will get like I don't know 10 likes and we'll do that video but so far guys yeah that's what happened in a couple of days and I wanted to be more you know upfront with you guys about what happened not many people know until now uh, but I am now excluding Ryan out of what is gonna be happening in October uh, just for one session and then after that I'm completely dropping it all the way uh, not only that, I feel like I'm being nagged at constantly because I wouldn't say I have, uh, you know how when your loved ones die and they, they feel like they've moved on to a new place? Well, with the constants of Nick trying to tell me, you know, you shouldn't play with that, you know, I feel like this back backwards, and no offense Nick if you're actually in the room with me, I feel like he's backwards nagging at me, saying that, you know, you shouldn't be playing with this. How many times have I told you, uh, you could be, you could have, you could lead so many other things. And I'm like, yeah, it's not my job. But it's, you know, it's something just to do for a few videos. And I've learned that, you know, sometimes maybe your friends was right because I was talking to Andy and, you know, I couldn't be compelled to saying he was right, you know, and, you know, I was talking to a person the other day, and they said, you don't need to use a ghost box, you know, you use what's inside here, and I was like, I kind of, I do absolutely, not kind of, I do absolutely agree, you know, because I do feel like sometimes Nick will be sitting in that chair, you know, watching me edit and upload videos and then sometimes because I've learned that doing too much of that work will cause some serious damage <laughs> and no I'm not I'm not quoting from Phil Swift you know I'm not breaking a boat in half and yeah no I'm not doing that so that's just kind of what it is guys I'm currently going to be uh, kind of uh, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of days is doing all sorts of work I got laundry to do I got a room to clean a house to clean uh, and honestly I'm off today so good thing for me I can just do most of the videos and say I'm almost done I mean it's already at 93 percent so yeah <sighs> This is going to be one heck of a long vlog. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next part of the video, where wherever it may be. So, yeah. We'll see you later. Oh, hey. Retake that one.
Hey guys, so currently we just got home. Well, I got home. Ryan just, you know, I told him to come over here because we we're going to go ahead and work on Grandpa Earl. Uh, Ryan, hold that card out. So guys, guess what came in the mail today? We actually got our cards from Vistaprint and it look is it on there? Yeah, I barely can see it. Here. This is what we got. Ah, uh, come on. Can't see it that well. There we go. You guys can see it. It looks pretty good. That's the cards that we're going to be able to give away for our $50 giveaway gift card to any store you choose. Um, and we'll be giving out those details in three simple steps in the next video. Currently right now, me and Ryan are actually working on an uh, intro for Grandpa Earl. And I don't know, I'm just I'm so excited about handing out these cards because these will actually help promote our channel. Um, and in doing so, by thanking you guys, we're doing a giveaway, and as soon as we get that video out, there's three simple steps. Uh, it's like, one, you get the card, you comment on the video, uh, I think it's going to be a live stream. If not, it's just going to be a video that's going to be on there, just to comment. I'm sure you want your, your laptop. Yeah. And two, if you've already been a subscriber and you didn't get a card, uh, after we give away the 500 cards, you guys will be given a generated code uh, in the inbox, which soon we'll be setting up a Raidu page on Facebook. Uh, so that way that giveaway can actually be accessible, you know, and not just, I don't know. I, I feel like commenting and trying to find our channel would be a little bit too much on YouTube. So there's your step number two. Step number three, I have no idea. I thought about the three steps earlier and so far, I've only thought about the two. Uh, the third step's going to come soon, but uh, the requires the the recommendations are you get the card, you save the card, you make sure you put the card number in, and as soon as we contact you, you have to have the card that has the number on the back. Take a picture of it, and then we will get in further contact with you shortly, so that way you can pick your store to get the fifty bucks on. Ryan included. Yeah. So, guys, this is actually going to be pretty fun. I'm so psyched about it. Uh, and, yeah, I just went to the gym earlier today, got back. Felt pretty amazing. Like, I feel lighter than a feather. I feel like I've lost a ton of weight. And Ryan's been saying I've lost so much weight. So I don't know if I should just do before and after pictures, but... Uh, I have to go back to the gym again tonight before I go to bed and go to work tomorrow. But guys, this is just something I need to finish up on the video. There will be a contest video soon on the channel. That code will help you just as long as you subscribe and find the video to enter the code down below. Now, we wouldn't expect you to stay as a subscriber. Hopefully, you guys do show your love and support because me and Ryan are running a YouTube channel in Southern Illinois. And hopefully it'll be coming off big. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys. So Ryan, what would you like to end this video with? Subscribe my channel. What is your channel? Uh, the music channel. Guys, if you haven't noticed, Papa Doc actually has a different U uh, YouTube called Papa Doc. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. Go ahead and listen to his music. I'm pretty sure if we try to find the original music he has, he can try to upload those videos too. And, you know, he has like, what, Docville 1? Now you're working on Docville 2? Yeah, this is Docville 2. So, yeah. Uh, Ryan. With, with Auto 2. Last with, one I didn't have Auto 2. But, yeah, it was very catchy. The last one he did, and this was like two, three years ago. Sort of. Sort of? How long ago? What do you think it was? 2008, 9, maybe. Huh. Okay. Well, guys, we'll keep you posted. Um, we will be going around next week after the video has been posted up. So that way, when you put your code in, uh, you'll be in contact for their notice. Just make sure, you know, because once we do this generated auto thing, uh, we will be harding the comment that, that, that dictates that is the winner. So, Ryan? Hit that like button. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and turn on notification bell so you never miss a video. And we're off. And we're off. Right? Cover up that camera.